And if, if you look into the working business environment and you look into the challenges that you're bound to have in certain African countries that, that are kind of a scaring off uh, large multinational companies uh, to, to back away from those markets because they can be uh, difficult places to function as a foreign company. Uh, but then again, when you look more closely into those countries and you try to understand that uh, despite all of these kind of a hardships that you're, you're bound to meet, uh, you have to be there because that's, that, that will be the gradle for the innovation uh, or it has a sizable market, for instance, where, where that you need to address. And, and, and if we can name any countries on that case, I, I, I would say that uh, countries like Nigeria, uh, Nigeria is, is by far the most populous African country and at the same time it has a lot, lot of opportunities. But obviously from the pure business environment sense, uh, it's not one of the easiest countries to operate in. So, so you, you have to have a kind of a healthy balance of um, doing your research based on what you can learn from the statistics. But at the same time, like like in any type of a corporate venturing activities, you you have to take a leap of faith and you have to be able to, to know that when you enter a country, for instance, uh, you might have to get out or exit that, that country at a certain point, but you, you just have to take an, an educated guess in that sense and then go into a country, uh, look for the opportunities, forge the local partnerships in a way that you, you work together with the local innovation, you work together with the local authorities, you work together with the universities, and, and trying to see what comes out from that uh, type of a framework for innovation.